Hi, this is Dave Arnold. Welcome to News Talk 980 CJME. Talk to the experts, and that is the key word here today, expert, because I'm surrounded by experts today right here in the flooring show from TrustedRegina.com. Now, those of you who don't know, TrustedRegina.com, the mega directory of businesses right here in town. So if you're curious about a different product, a different service, you click on over, you can see the testimonials, you can get all the details, everything from electrical to home renovations to today's topic, flooring. And here with us today is Don from TrustedRegina.com. Don, you've uh, brought some very smart flooring experts with you. You want to introduce us to the cast of characters, please? Sure will. Thanks, Dave. With us today, we have Greg DeZorek from Wascana Wood Floors. They are your wood floor refinishing expert. They do everything from fixing up that old, dull hardwood floor you found underneath your carpet to installs to upgrades to everything, you name it. Not too many of them left around in Regina, and they are your trusted source for floor refinishing. And we also have Brad Kopp from Nature Stone Flooring, and he has brought with him his very unique type of flooring that instead of, you know, digging up that hard, crumbly, cracked cement basement floor you've got this really nice lovely flooring to put down whether it be in your basement your garage or your around your awesome pool so these are your flooring experts we also have carpet superstore they are your one-stop place whether you need tile linoleum carpet whether you're worried about allergies or children they've got your choice right there all right well listen now we know the players uh time to get into the questions here's how it works we take questions from the Facebook page, from TrustedRegina.com Facebook page, and we get the live and direct answers from the experts. Everything you ever wanted to know about flooring starts right here, right now, kicking it off for us. Greg from Wascana Wood Floors. Greg, good to have you in, by the way. Thank you. Uh, this uh, is coming in from Marianne Collins on Facebook. Uh, how do you prevent natural hardwood floors from drying out, which creates cracks in the hardwood? That's actually a very simple one. I get a lot of people asking me that, and it's as simple as adding humidity to your house. Uh, In the summer, there's generally more than enough naturally, but in winter, once your furnace starts running, the house really starts drying out. So all you have to do is get a humidifier, either get a portable one or have one installed on your forced air furnace. Does it help at all? If, I mean, is there a liquid or something you can put on? Because I think some people would think, well, if I just kind of get the wood a little wet, maybe it'll kind of humidify it, right? No, actually, you just need to get the air moistened up. Actually, you can actually damage your floors by getting them wet. All right. Also, uh, this one in from uh, Jamie. Um, I have maple wood medium brown floors. Nothing I seem to do works on making them look clean. Uh, it looks like there's a film always on them, and I can see little toe prints and... Things like that. What's your best tip on keeping the beauty of maple matte finished floors? Well, the first thing for cleaning is you want to use a microfiber mop. Um, and the second is the cleaner itself. Uh, you want to avoid using anything that's going to leave a film or a buildup. Uh, Murphy's oil is actually one, one of the worst ones for putting on a floor. It will leave a film over time. And mop and glow and several other ones like that do the same effect. So I'm thinking a lot of people might think, oh, just get the old Swiffer out and just kind of do that. You need to be really careful about the solution you're putting on, right? Absolutely. Uh, there's several good cleaners out there. Bona Kemi makes a really good one that's wide, widely available now. Um, I've also got one that I sell. And a lot of times I just I refer my customers to Chatterson Janitorial. They've mm. got a really nice little kit made up. Garth and my the customer. crew over there, they've, yeah, they've got it all put together. There's a mop and uh, you get a gallon of cleaner. And it's a super concentrate. Yeah, put about a half an ounce of cleaner to a liter of water. So, and it's under $100 for the whole thing. So it's it's a great kit. And it's the same thing I use in my own house. And that's where you see the little footy prints uh, if you have that film and that buildup. And you you don't just don't want to see that because it never looks clean, does it? Exactly. Yep. Uh, from the Facebook uh, questions as well, this one from Justin. Uh, does refinishing old hardwood floors increase a home's value versus installing new laminate or new hardwood flooring? That's a great question. Well, that one's a little tricky because laminate doesn't really add much value to your house. Um, If you don't have any hardwood, adding new hardwood definitely will. If you have hardwood floor in your house and if it's structurally stable still, if there's enough product there to work with, then it's a lot more financially viable to refinish it. It usually ends up being about a third the price to replacement. Oh, wow. So how often can you refinish a hardwood floor? Depends on the thickness. Depend? Yeah, it depends. If it's a three-quarter inch thick floor to start with, they're usually good for about seven sandings. Wow. So they're designed to last the lifetime of the house. 
Uh, kind of on a related question here as well. Um, we have this one from Terry Germain, by the way. We have original hardwood in our home and need it redone badly. What's the best way to go about fixing it from start to finish? Uh, are there specific coatings used to prevent scratching? Uh, also, do they need to move out of their home while they're doing their project? Well, the best way to go about it from start to finish, just start by giving me a call, obviously. <laughs> but uh, if you did want to do it yourself, uh, you could rent. There are a few places in town that do rent reasonably good equipment. Um, you don't necessarily have to move out of the house. A lot of the products now are latex or waterborne. And uh, if you're going to use a specific coating to prevent scratching, uh, you most oil-based finishes work fairly well. Um, with the waterborne products, there's a huge range. The ones you can generally buy at a paint store or hardware store aren't very good. Mm. They'll work fine for woodwork, baseboards, but on floors, they're not going to have the durability. You're going to want to find something that's a professional product. Yeah, speaking of professionals, unless you've actually redone a hardwood floor before, call the professional. You can leave a lot of grooves and a lot of ugly marks in that thing if you don't know what you're doing. Greg, fantastic. Thanks very much. appreciate that. We're only a third of the way done, though. And now moving on to flooring expert number two, Brad Kopp from Nature Stone Flooring. Brad, uh, thanks for coming in as well. Good to see you in. Good to be here. So we'll go to our questions uh, from Facebook as well. This is from Trent. Uh, what's the best kind of flooring to install in your basement? Well, Nature Stone Flooring is specifically designed to go over top of concrete. Uh, unlike other floor coverings like uh, tile, laminate, uh, carpet that can trap moisture, Nature Stone Flooring actually allows you concrete to breathe, uh, helping to prevent mold and mildew in your basement. So it's kind of specifically designed for that. And in this city from time to time, uh, we have heard of maybe the odd little leak or dampness or something in basements in this. It's a real challenge for people. And I mean, a lot of people are going, I I'm just not sure what to do, what to put in here. Sure. And that's where nature sounds great. Because even if you have the water come in, simply just take a wet dry back, suck it up and... And you're good it. to go. No worry. No tarot. Uh, here's another kind of related. This is, uh, again, the Facebook question from uh, Melissa. Uh, my laundry room floor is cement. It's a little uneven. Uh, we tried to use self-leveling floor cement. Uh, they were, tried ceramic tiles. They kept breaking. Uh, what do you recommend for flooring in that point? What do you do? I mean, a lot of the cement floors, as we know, again, reach out. Huh? We get the odd uh, little shift in movement from time to time. You, you get cracks and you get little uneven patches. So, so what do you do there? Sure. Well, I would definitely recommend Nature Stone flooring for any uneven floors. Uh, Nature Stone is a stone and epoxy flooring, so it goes on liquid. So any chips, any cracks, any unevenness, it completely goes over top, fills them in, evens it out. Um, so, so the Nature Stone flooring itself, this isn't like a chunk of rock or something that you're you're putting on and trying to you know balance up like you with that fourth corner of the uh, of the table that never quite gets right. But this is actually a liquid product that. Tell me a bit more about it. About exactly how it works. Right. It, it goes on liquid. So it actually, it'll, it goes on liquid, forms to the floor. So any little uneven spot on the floor, it completely f fills that in. So uh, that's right. There's no voids or anything underneath. So there's there's no nowhere for it to crack. Or and, and Mother Nature and gravity is going to do the rest, and you're going to get a nice level floor. That's exactly right. Wow. That's very cool. I like that. Uh, another question here. Um... Oh, uh, this is, uh, you know, the natural stone looks nice. And this has a natural stone look and finish to it. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous, by the way. Uh, but isn't it going to be a little cold on the feet in the basement? Surprisingly, no. Uh, a nature stone floor is twice as warm as carpeting and ten times warmer than tile. The reason being is because a nature stone floor is porous. It has what we call hydrostatic ports. So it allows the, the, the warm air to actually get in there and bring it up to a, a warmer temperature than other floor coverings. It'll... It actually stays warmer than the concrete. It's like wool. It's got the same principle as wool. Sure. The little fibers in wool that trap the heat and the warmth, and that's why you stay warm. That's right. Uh, Brad, we need to take a real quick break here. Uh, can you stay with me through the break? We're going to come back. We've got more questions for you. Uh, you good to go in a couple minutes here? For sure. All right. We are going to take a quick break. Uh, we'll be right back. Second part, uh, we're going to get more of your questions on The Flooring Show with TrustedRegina.com, only on News Talk 980 CJME. Talks to the experts. Hi, this is Dave Arnold. Welcome back to News Talk 980 CJME's Talk to the Experts with TrustedRegina.com. Again, remember, all of our guests on the program today, you can get tons more information on them at TrustedRegina.com. It's all there. 
Uh, we are doing the flooring show. Uh, just in the middle of answering a bunch of your questions, uh, Facebook questions actually coming in through TrustedRegina.com Facebook page. Uh, continuing our conversation with Brad Kopp uh, from Nature Stone Flooring. Uh, Brad, thanks for hanging in through the break. Much appreciated. Good to be here. All right, let's get to the questions here. This one from Cheryl. Uh, if I put Nature Stone in my basement and it floods, what happens to the flooring? I'm wondering if the water seeps to the top of the flooring. Uh, I'm thinking maybe this could be a good thing for my basement in the in the city. Well, that's a very popular question. Uh, the great thing about Nature Stone is it's unaffected by wet, damp, even flood-prone basements. Uh, if you have water coming to your basement, simply take the wet dry vac, suck it up. I've talked to so many people, they've torn the carpet out two, three times, mm. they're sick of doing it, they've had the water come in, they don't know what to do uh, until they find Nature Stone. And we've had several of our own customers have had water come in after it's been installed. And uh, their exact wording to me is, it's almost a joke now how easy it is to take care of the water. Just no big deal anymore. No. Mm. Either the wet dry vac or maybe just a couple of paper towels and away, you're good to go. That's right. I don't like it. Uh, Janice with another question here for us too. Uh, is the flooring comfortable to walk on? Again, that's another very popular question a lot of people ask, and uh, yes, very comfortable to walk on. Uh, walking what's on what's it like? What's it, feel, what's it feel like when you walk it's on? It's just like a massage on the feet. Uh, so many people tell us they'll be sitting there watching TV on their couch down in the basement and sitting there rubbing their feet on the floor at the same time, massaging them, and it's very comfortable. And uh, every time I come to an in-home estimate, I always have a bigger sample with me that I'll, I'll bring and uh, let people take their shoes off and stand on it themselves and... Take it for a test massage. Take it for a doing, test eh? run. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Brad, uh, great stuff. Great chatting with you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we've heard from uh, two very reputable flooring experts uh, here in Regina, but we're not done yet. Now we move on to more of your questions on flooring with Trent from Carpet Superstore. Trent, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. No problem, Dave. So listen, I guess one of the questions, and this is from Judy uh, on, on Facebook question, of course, uh, and you must get this a lot. W- what are the newest, hottest flooring trends in new homes right now? Well, I think year by year it changes. I, I, this year, this year without a doubt, uh, things are trending soft. And and whether the whether it be uh, Shaw's got a product called Caress, Mohawk has a product called Silk. The, the two are so soft; it's it's unbelievable. Uh, is it more of a soft look or a nope. soft feel on the bottom nope, of the bare Dave, feet? No, Dave, you touch it, and it it's just like nothing you've ever felt before. It's lifetime warranty, 25-year wear warranty, uh, lifetime stain warranty, sorry. And I've got it in my own, my own house, so oh, that's, really? how, that's how strongly I believe in it. Are, are there hot colors for, for this year? I mean, do the colors change a lot? Grays are back. First time, and I've been open nine years now, and... and in all honesty, the first eight years, it's mostly been earth tones. Mm-hmm. And this is the first year grays are back in a strong, strong way. Mm, so kind of more of that little stark, little contrast look. Exactly. Cool. All right. Uh, another question here from uh, Nicole. And uh, it actually kind of ties in a little bit with a question from Melody as well. Uh, both talking about basements. Uh, Nicole's saying they're looking to put new carpet in their basement. They have a daughter and a dog. Uh, their basement also gets a little bit humid in the summer. And a Melody asking, okay, what's the most economical way to finish basement floors that adds the best warmth value? So kind of combining those two, what are you recommending for basements for people, or, or what are their options? Well, economical and and warmth don't go hand in hand. I think economical would be uh, the Kanga Hide products. That would be like a rubber back. Mm-hmm. Um, Berbers are phasing themselves out, but they've now got frisees with the rubber back to them in all honesty they're the cheapest carpets that that look good that you can put in your house the the advantage to the kanga hide is it's moisture and mildew resistant uh which helps in a humidity case uh, the downside to it is the backing's not very thick and in all honesty you're probably looking at a, a mid-grade product so it doesn't give you the warmth value that a carpet with a, a thicker under pad would so I could, think can you got, put extra under pad under that? No. Okay. No, you can't, unfortunately. So if you've got if you've got a cold basement and you're looking for warmth, then I would say go with a carpet with a thicker under pad. And if you're looking because of humidity, I would say maybe consider going with a Kanga Hide product, but understand that you're not getting the best product in the world. So this is a question now. This is from Deborah. Uh, <laughs> 
My dog has peed on the living room floor laminated so many times that it's lifting. I wipe it with a towel, but there's still an odor. Help. What can Deborah do? <laughs> uh, Deborah can, can call her insurance adjuster and, and, and have it replaced. In all honesty, Dave, laminate and moisture don't work hand in hand. And if, if you do get too much moisture or water or pee on, on laminate, it's going to swell on the edges and you're, and you, and once you get to that point, there's no way of fixing it. My my advice is to to use a dry Swiffer when you're cleaning the product. Avoid moisture at all costs, and and where the the dog bowls are, put some sort of a rubber mat down where they lap the water. Don't don't let moisture hit it. Otherwise, you're asking for nothing but trouble. Uh, and one more real quick one here. Um, this is from uh, RJ. How can I keep dirt and debris from getting in between the small cracks in my hardwood? When a, when a hardwood floor is installed properly, Dave, there shouldn't be gaps in it. So uh, understanding that if it's properly installed and it's, it's tight, humidity levels, humidity levels need to be kept at a certain level to, to maintain moisture loss, especially in the wintertime when it gets really dry. If this gentleman has gaps in his hardwood right now, it's it's because the humidity has caused the product to shrink, thus debris getting in it. The the key is to maintaining humidity levels, and and you won't get any shrinkage. Trent, fantastic! Appreciate you answering uh, all the calls uh, from or all the questions from uh, the Facebook on TrustedRegina dot com. Uh, appreciate the insight on that. You're welcome, Dave. It was a pleasure. Boy, that was it. Some great questions answered from all of our experts. Don, this is one of the fun parts of the floor of the uh, show, though, the flooring show. We've got all kinds of goodies to give away. I've got the little list here. I'm going to read it here. Uh, from Waskan Wood Floors, we've got a deluxe hardwood floor cleaning kit and a $50 gas card. Uh, from Nature Stone Flooring, we've got a $100 gift certificate to uh, Just For You Day Spa. And from Carpet Superstore, $100 restaurant gift certificate. So we're going to give this away to one of our question askers from Facebook today. Uh, let's see who we got here. We've got Lee. Congratulations, uh, Lee Landry. Um, this is the, the question she'd asked about the natural stone look for nature stone floors, but would it be cold on the feet in the basement? Don, it's been great. You, you had a, just a great crew coming in answering some great questions today. Thank you so much. No, thank you, Dave, and thank you to our flooring experts from TrustedRegina.com, the smart and simple choice. People want to get some more information. They want to ask their questions for the next go-around. What do they do? You go online, www.TrustedRegina.com. That's it. That's a wrap. It's been fun. We'll talk to you next time around.